Welcome to AnchorCast, a weekly podcast of homilies and sermons from Christ Our Anchor Anglican Mission in Nashville, Tennessee. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. We need a stool over here. I'm a lot, a lot shorter than Father Dan. Uh, I'm going to stand over here. Can't see it. There we go. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so I love the passages in the New Testament um, that make people uncomfortable. The passages where Jesus raises some dead, where Jesus does a miracle, changes water into wine. Because um, everyone gets uncomfortable. These are the ones that everyone liked to skip, right? These are the passages that, that academics and other smart folk will try to explain the way, right? You know, so Jesus rose a man from the dead. Maybe, maybe he was just sleeping. Maybe the man was just unconscious, and then Jesus came by and then jostled him obeyed. You know, maybe someone had drugged him to some potion that made him appear dead, you know, some sort of strong incentive. Or, or maybe these people that we read about um, that are being raised from the dead, other being healed from demons, you know, maybe they were just in on it, right? You know, maybe, maybe they, they're just a plant, right? To make Jesus look good. Maybe, maybe, maybe this, this seems to be what, you know, the academics and others want to do with the miracles of Jesus. But what I think is that maybe, just maybe, folk should just hush and listen. Maybe, just maybe, we serve a living God. And maybe our God created heaven and earth. And maybe our God is the very breath of life. Maybe our God can walk on water. Maybe he can turn water into wine. And maybe he can make food for all fall from the sky or appear in baskets. Maybe there's a lot of those so-called smart people who don't actually understand. Maybe the world isn't so predictable and plain as we often put it out to be. Because, you know, a God that can't walk on water, a God that can't raise a man from the dead, well, we sure as heck cannot save my soul. It's going to take a lot more power than is found in a few with parables or sermons to fix what's messed up inside of me. So I want us to hear the good news today, that we serve a God of power. We serve a God that can actually raise the dead, a God who can actually heal, a God that can actually repair the broken things within us and around us, a God who is bigger than we can imagine. And it is this very God that invites us into his arms. This God comes to save. Not only does he invite salvation, but he has the power to make it so. He can raise what's dead in our lives to new life in him. He can add a screen to our step, not because of something new we know from a story, but because of what he's done to our actual bodies and souls. So I admonish everyone to believe and to, to step aside from all of your needs. Let him do the work in you that only he can do. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Christ Our Anchor is an Anglican mission in East Nashville that meets on Wednesday evenings for prayer and fellowship. Follow us at ChristOurAnchor.org to learn more about the work God has called us to in East Nashville. 
at join us on Wednesday evenings at 5.30 as we live into what Jesus has called his church to be. Everyone is welcome.